Firstly, visit geogebra.org forward slash geometry in your web browser. Head over to the top right settings wheel, click on show axes and show a grid with major grid lines. In the left hand pane with tools selected, click on more and then click more again. Then head to the symbol showing the calculator. We're going to start by creating the sun, so type into the input box sun space equals space open brackets zero comma zero close brackets. This will place a point named sun at grid coordinates x zero and y zero. I clicked on the point and chose a color that we associate with the sun. Back over to the left pane to start adding planets. The first planet I'm going to add is Mercury, and I'm referring to that scale that we solved earlier in the workbook. So we type Mercury space equals space open brackets four comma zero close brackets as the four centimeters will refer to the x coordinate. This is because Mercury is 0.4 astronomical units from the sun. To recap, an astronomical unit is 150 million kilometers. This place is Mercury. We can go ahead and start adding the other planets. I'm referring to the calculations I made earlier. Venus will be 7.2 centimeters away from the sun, so we type Venus space equals space open brackets 7.2 comma 0 close brackets. This can be repeated until we've added all the planets. By zooming out, I can see all of the planets that have been added. Switch to the Tools menu in the left hand pane and select Slider which is under the Measure section. Click anywhere on screen to place your slider. Change the radio button to Angle and while you have access to it copy the Alpha symbol. Change the animation speed to 0.2 and change the repeat to Increasing. This will place the slider, but currently it's not controlling anything. Go to the left pane and click on the Algebra Calculator symbol. Here you will be able to test playback of the slider. Back to the Tools menu and click on Rotate About Point, which is under the Transform heading. First click on the name label for Mercury and the name label for the Sun. Add the value for Mercury that we calculated earlier. So 4.15 asterisk alpha. The asterisk refers to multiplication. We are doing 4.15 multiplied by alpha. We get the 4.15 because Mercury takes 88 days to orbit the Sun, hence 365 divided by 88. Now click on the name label of Venus and then the name label for the Sun. I'll grab the values we calculated earlier. Venus is 1.63 multiplied by alpha. Then click on our planet Earth label and then the Sun label. We don't technically need to be adding the 1 multiplied by alpha for Earth. We could just use alpha, but I'm adding it for continuity. Carry on adding the other values from planets in the same way. You may have different values for Uranus and Neptune because your values were to two decimal places. That's fine. The model will work equally well. We've now established an orbit for all planets. 
Head back over to the left plane to the algebra calculator symbol. Deselect the point circles for the eight planets. These are in the list as point Mercury, point Venus, etc. This will hide them in the model and just leave the orbiting planets. Leave the Sun where it is. Now we can change the colour of the orbiting planets. Click on a planet and give it an accurate colour. I have pulled up the images of the planets as a reference. If the colour you want isn't in the palette, click on the plus symbol to choose from more colour options. I'll make Earth blue, because we are the blue planet, and I'll make Mars red, as it is the red planet. I'm now going to draw some rings to demonstrate the orbit of the planets. Go to the left hand pane, tools window and choose circle centre and radius from underneath the circles heading. Click on the sun and add the distance of the first circle. Mercury from memory was 4 centimetres so we type 4 and click OK. Refer to the distance values from before. So I'll add Venus again by clicking the point of the Sun and typing 7.2, OK. Click the Sun and add 10 for Earth. Repeat for all of the planets. Go to the top right settings wheel and click on Show Axes. This will untick it and hide the axes. Likewise, choose No Grid from the Show Grid drop-down. Click on the top right settings wheel and choose Settings and choose a background colour from the menu. I've chosen Very Dark Grey. Click OK. I can close the settings wheel at the top right. Go to the calculator symbol in the left pane, find the slider then access the options by clicking on the three dots. Hide it from being displayed like you hid the planets by clicking on the colour circle while you're here. Change the slider max angle to 10,000 degrees. Make sure you use the degrees symbol and change the speed to 0.07. I've experimented and found this to be a decent combination for viewing the orbits. Close the settings window and back to the left pane to press play on the slider. You can zoom out to explore your solar system. For every time that Earth completes an orbit, this is one Earth year. See how slowly Neptune orbits. One year on Neptune lasts about 165 years on Earth. The three inner planets line up every 39.6 years. On average, the eight planets line up every 396 billion years. Wow.